Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 823, 823 that is. And the topic today, um, inspired by a conversation I had just now, um, why working with me, um, and by this way, it's not for the faint of heart, but also don't be afraid, if that makes any sense. Um, because I'm saying this because I was talking to somebody earlier today, we have a, a block party going on right now where I live. So I just popped into my talk, then I go back, like back into my casual attire, I forget for this, this video. Um, happy Labor Day, by the way. And this, I was talking to somebody and she said, what do you do? I said, I'm a relationship and love coach and expert. And, I, and she reacted to it and I said, you know, there's only two ways people react to that. They go, oh, tell me more, or oh crap. And uh, hi, Mary, nice to see you in my broadcast. Um, this is Facebook Live, by the way, in case you're watching on YouTube, about YouTube and tell you about the links at the back end. And so it triggered this thought in me about, yes, yeah, some people are extremely scared when that topic comes up because suddenly they feel very exposed. And so I thought I'd better talk about this because I'm realizing people who watch my broadcast, maybe you, maybe somebody you know, is a little bit reticent to find out about what I can do for them because of the fact that they might feel exposed. And so the experience I just had was with somebody who, um, I have no idea what the story is, just to be clear. And we didn't talk about that. And I'm not going to go in. And if we did, it wouldn't be, it'd be confidential anyway, because I do respect the boundaries of that. But her joking with me told me so much about her fear factor and how the idea of talking about relationships is like pulling back the stone and rock and exposing all the um, unpleasant memories underneath. I was going to think I was used for that, but that's what I'll speak to that. So the thing is, let me say it this way. Working with somebody like myself, or working directly with me, because I can speak for my own self, can be a journey into the unknown, or should say be in the journey, journey into the unpleasant, because you may want to go back into your memories and uncover what's in the way. There's good news in this. It's not just bad news, because the bad news is, oh crap, you gotta look at the bad stuff, and all stuff is like, oh my regrets, I made mistakes, I don't wanna look at those anymore. I wanna ignore them, sweep them under the rug, pretend they didn't happen. Which I fully understand, I did that myself for quite a few years until I discovered that it wasn't helping me. So my work with my clients is to go there. Yes, to go there. To help them really face those demons they've been making up inside, because they're not real. And those upsets inside that aren't true. And show them that who they are is much better than they think they are. Because they've been carrying so much judgment against themselves, because I did myself, as being no good because of the mistakes I made in the past myself. And I know that people out there have the same experience, whether it's you or somebody you know. So my point that I want to make today is more really about talking about my own work and about what it's like, like working with me as a client because it's kind of like the thing I haven't talked about. I've talked about tips and guidance about how to help you have what you want and how I recommend you reach out to me for support. But I'm going to talk to you now about what it's like if you do reach out to me for support because for some people it's an unknown territory and it's also very unpleasant for some people because like, I don't want to look at my past, I want to block it out. I talked about this a couple of days ago, in a way, saying about if you can work with some, some of the coaches, it's all about the future and nothing about the past. And as I said, one of the problems that we don't deal with in this culture is we're not willing to go back and clean up our past mistakes, and then we go into the future and make more mistakes. It doesn't work. It's like you keep doing the same thing, as to, to use the quote attributed to uh, Albert Einstein, is that doing the same thing again and again, expecting different results, is the definition of insanity. So if you are working with a coach who doesn't help you go through the past and resolve it, heal it, transform it, and shift it so you can move forward cleanly, the odds are very likely, very likely, you're going to keep repeating the same mistakes going to the future. And speaking from personal, personal experience, I can attest to this. I made plenty of mistakes until I learned to change them. Every time I went out with somebody new, the same pattern kept showing up, and it was not them, it was me. Surprise, surprise. And I talked about this part before, and if you've been watching my broadcast, you know this. If you don't deal with your past mistakes, if you don't deal with your past patterns that are repeating themselves again and again, you will keep repeating them again and again. It's kind of the way it works. So this talk in a very simple way is an invitation for you to step up into your truth and step out of your fear. Because if you're moving on the fence about working with me or with any coach for that matter, and you're holding back from doing that, the fear is overriding your freedom. The fear is actually repeating back the same circles, the same experiences, the same patterns again and again, and it won't change. And what's happening is, and this is the thing I did myself, so I know from experience, is that there was a certain comfort in staying in the pain. There was a certain comfort in what was familiar, even though it sucked, even though it was painful, even though I didn't like it, 
I would rather be stuck in the familiarity of the pain of things that didn't work than try something new and work with somebody who could help me. So I know what my clients who have worked with me get from it. So I know the value they get, but also know the people who don't work with me, what they're facing a lot of times, because I've been there. So my invitation to you, if you've been on the fence or you've been holding back or you've been looking at my work and going, oh, never going to do that. Take what I said to heart. Realize that you will, won't, excuse me, that you will be in the same place and you won't be able to change your future until you resolve your past. It's really that simple. And yes, there are different ways of doing that work. And I'm not a therapist, so I'm not going to spend 20 years trying to counsel you through your past issues or do it, a few, do it in a few weeks. But it's getting your alignment forward where you want to go. It's transforming your past experience so that it becomes a resolved and transformed experience that no longer impacts your future choices. That's a simple way to put it. So this is not marketing intentionally, but it's more to speak about the, the wounds that people carry. And I've faced them so many times myself with my clients and my own journey that we tend to stick to those familiar pains because they're familiar and they're comfortable as much as they're painful, which is so illogical, but it makes a lot much sense for the human dynamic, how we, how we function, that we'd rather stick with the familiar pain that we're used to than step into the unknown where it could be so much better or so much worse. So my invitation to you, if you've been sitting with this for a question mark for a while, is take a next step and reach out to me. I will put some links in the comments, as always. Um, and I know I'm doing this quickly because I want to get this food outside. I want to go back to the book block party, so I'm making this quick. <laughs> this is Labor Day after all. Um, but I will put some links in the comments to invite you to check out what I do. I'll put a link in the comments for a discovery session with me, a complimentary chat. It doesn't cost you anything, just some time, and possible shift to your beliefs. Or we can talk over the phone if you're local in person and get you some clarity where you want to go and where you want to transform. I also put a link in the comments to my self-love practice. In fact, this is an interesting thing. I'll just throw this one out there too because I had a conversation earlier today with somebody. I've talked about my self-love practice as a guided meditation you can use. and It's my voice guiding you through a daily meditation twice a day to do it for 30 days. And she was telling me, because she's been studying some ancient yogic techniques, that the way they talk about it is that it's 25 to 30 days to change a habit, but it takes 140 days for the brain to understand that what it's doing now as a repeated practice, again, straight through every single day, if you do it 140 days, then your brain will, never, will, will, do, will believe that it never did anything differently. So if you really want to change your programming, 30 days is a good start, as I mentioned in my self-love meditation, which again, I'll put a link in the comments. But 140 days apparently is the tipping point for the brain to believe from that point forward, it's always done it this way. I'm not saying you have to do that, but that's what I learned from somebody today who taught me something useful. So that was part of my learning. It was great. I mean, it's a fun party. I'm going to go back to it because it was a lot of, a lot of good people. But I wanted to put this out there quickly as an invitation to you to reach out to me. So again, links will be in the comments for a conversation with me, my self-love guided meditation, and my book, which I didn't mention. Oh, let me introduce, I didn't introduce myself. I jumped right, right in. <laughs> let me put <laughs> my introduction at the back end, so it's at the front end. Hi, my name is Barry Selby. I guess you might have known that from the title around the broadcast. Um, I, I am an inspirational speaker when I remember to be on point, And I'm also a relationship a love expert, helping people transform their experience of love and relationships the way they want, mostly working with women to help them find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a best-selling author of the book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, which will be in the comments. And I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work. And also these talks I've done now for the last two and a half years called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And that has now got out to episode number 823. Lots of talks out there. So this is another one of those. Um, yes, so lots of interesting tips from the party. So I want to go back and get some more. Maybe for tomorrow's broadcast. So simply put, if you've been thinking about working with me, but you've been afraid to do so, this is a invitation to look at that as an opportunity to break through, free from your limited perspective that doesn't hold you, doesn't get you where you want to go. Don't hold back. You deserve the best. Stay true to yourself. And if supporting you is, if, if supporting yourself by working with me is a good idea, because also, as I said before, it's impossible to change your future without doing some work to change your past because your past is overriding your choices, as I mentioned before. And my work is to help you heal your past, focus on your future and get where you want to go. That's the simplest way I can describe it. And if your heart is in the way of that happening in terms of the wounding and the pain, the suffering you've been carrying around, then do yourself the favor to reach out and get support. That's my offer, that's my invitation, that's my recommendation. And of course, I'm very biased, it's my talk, so I'll do that. So I think I made my point clear enough. Um, links will be in the comments, as I mentioned. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, by the way, usually it's in the right order. I did it wrong today, because that's the way it was. 
This is my daily Facebook Live. I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. The replay's gone on my business page on Facebook, which you can like, which is barryselby.author. You can watch the replays there. Also, my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, all my social media is the name, is the same. My name is, my, yeah. Barry Selby is my name. It's also my handle on my social media handles. So my YouTube channel is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to the channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. Um, the replays are easy to look at. Actually, the replays are easy to look at there on YouTube they are on Facebook because they're easy to sort through because the way Facebook lays everything, sorry, the way YouTube lays everything out, it's easier than Facebook. Anyway, with that, I thank you for watching. Check out the links I put in the comments. I'm actually going to do that once I get back to the party or afterwards, I'm going to see how I do it. So check them out later on. Reach out, get support. It may scare you, it may make you feel uncertain, but I can guarantee you, you'll feel safer, you'll feel loved, and you'll feel supported where you want to go, and it's worth the investment of your energy, your time, and your money. And yes, I've been blatant about that. It's an investment, all three levels. So having said all that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for a different topic, I think. But I thank you for being with me as always, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.